All right, let me talk about this before I uh, pack it up for tonight. You know, we, we, we hear a lot of news about Sauce Gardner, right? And for what he did for his rookie year, shout out to the Jets for drafting him. Phenomenal player, six foot three, good speed, being able to uh, shut down some of the number one wide receivers. Now, I saw a play that Diggs got him a few times, but that's a whole nother story. I'm talking about Stefan Diggs, by the way. Neither here nor there. Shout out to Sauce Gardner. And I, I think that a lot of people are not talking about Tariq Woolen as well. You know, he had six INTs. He was phenomenal for the Seattle Seahawks and for all he was able to do. If you look at both players, Sauce Gardner as well as Tariq Woolen, both of those boys had 1,100 snaps or over 1,100 if you guys do the quick math on that. On top of that, six INTs as a rookie, that's it's definitely not easy to do. And he's six foot four and 205 pounds. He's a big boy on the outside. Now, there's a guy by the name of Deron Bland that a lot of people not talking about a lot, unless Cowboy fans are bringing him up, right? We the only people that can bring him up. And I get it. Yeah, he plays for the Cowboys and he played inside the slot, and he's not glorified as an outside DB or corner, however you want to call it. But the dude had five INTs with 500 snaps. That's about half of what the snap count that Sauce and as well as Tariq Woolen was able to accumulate. Now, when we start going over these numbers and everything, Tariq Woolen had over or close to 14 missed tackles. He wasn't a willing tackler. We knew that for him coming out of college for crying out loud, but he can cover. Now, Sauce Gardner, he had about six missed tackles. So all in all, he's a willing tackler. Not the best tackler out there, but he's a for dog sure willing tackler. Now, my guy, Deron Bland, yeah, even with the half of production, yeah, he only had 37 solo tackles, and he had about five to six missed tackles. That's not uh, really gaudy numbers. But when you look at it and you start contextualizing, he plays a position where two-way goes. Keep this in mind. If the Cowboys start this dude inside the nickel, you give him 1,100 uh, reps or snaps out there on the field, shoot. You may end up seeing this brother with seven to maybe nine INTs a season. And I'm not making this stuff up. He got a nose for the ball. He really takes the ball away. He don't see the ball uh, hitting the wide receiver hands without him contesting it. That is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that grit, that grind, that type of mindset. And that's what he brings to the table. So, I just wanted to bring that up. He's the silent assassin as it relates to those DBs from last season that nobody's talking about. Everybody's going to know Bland name this season for the 2023. And as extra, extra read all about it, you heard it from Law Nation, Sam Williams. He's just the same. Don't you guys know? This dude literally had four sacks last season, a forced fumble. With only, I think it's 267 reps out there on the field. 22 pressures. 14 solo tackles at the edge. You know, on the edge over there. So, Sam Williams, he could by far be one of those guys that can be a double-digit sack guy. If you really look at the numbers. 267 snaps, that's not a lot, y'all. That's not a lot. That's only a sample size. Spoonful. So, Cowboys, we got some unknown stuff that we going to bring around that's going to be known. And if you checked out my video earlier about Deuce Vaughn, you guys check that out. Check that out because I, I did say that he may be sneaky too. From the aspect of this right here, I'm going to say this before I go, that you had Jameer Gibbs, you had also B. John Robinson. His numbers were right there with them. And we're not asking the little five foot five, five foot six guy to be the end all be all guy here. We just asking him to step in for a spoonful of reps. So watch. Don't sleep on him. Cowboy Nation, that's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Go Cowboys. <laughs>